be bunny. I don't want to talk about placements this time around. I got super, super bad <laughs> games. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I want to talk about that. But speaking of good games, George, I want to talk about this game. That's a nice looking poster as well. Giganti versus Morning Stars. Giganti are going to be on the defense. Morning Stars, obviously, on the offense. Looks like Team. no substitutions either. Yeah, Giganti are not going to sub in. Ripper going to stick with Lil Bo on that Zenyatta. And Zuppe is going to be on that Arno. We get to talk about their comp a little bit before the gate rolls out. This time they're running the dive like they did before on the defense. They are going to run Milky Man on the Winston and Zappis on the uh, on the Diva. But Davin and Visility, we're seeing so much more of this now. And I'm so happy we're seeing it. So happy I'm not on the receiving end. But Sombra... Doomfist dive is so prominent, instantly killing the backline supports because they have no abilities left. And crucially, you can see now where Milky Man is hanging out is directly in the sightline of Zerpe. So if he does get hacked and potentially aggressed upon early by Morning Stars, even though we don't have a Sombra, he'll be a little bit more hardy. And of course, he and his cohort Zapis are going to be trying to lock down this entrance with their continuous fire, like you can see coming out of the hut there to try and catch any Sombra. Oh, facility! Did you see that? Facility instantly um, swap positions from Malzasa. Malzasa in trouble though. A bio grenade does land from Zapis and it actually just pops him as well with the Barnet Rifle to secure the kill. Nice little use of the armor back there by Lee. Getting a lot of ult charge, in fact. 30%. They are going to contest the point. It's his Goat's comp with Arnhem. I mean, the Xerath's going to have that nano in no time at all. But Lee being removed by Visility already. That Rocket Punch doing a whole lot of damage if you connect someone with the wall. They are going to be able to recontest and take control of that point as well. Milky Man by oh. themselves a couple of kills. <laughs> Your heart leapt, I'm sure, facilities did as so well. Did <laughs> Remembered the floor was there. Doesn't quite send himself slinging off the edge. Oh, I was worried, George. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was worried. But down in there, had the ultimate pick out. He managed to take down Casper. And Casper had 100 energy, which is very dangerous when you're going up against an inconsistent shield like a Winston, which goes on a 13-second cooldown when it's laid down. That means that you're free to farm up from Winston, from D.Va, and build up towards that Graviton Surge. And Casper's already pretty close to it. Big EMP straight in the middle. That's not good for Exorath. Had no ability, well, no movement abilities anyway, if you are the honor. A couple of quick kills for the rest of Team Giganti. Got a couple of ults to work with as well. Zuppe does end up going down. He's going to be able to secure the kill, but a little walk for Zuppe wouldn't be too bad. Plus, range healing from Ana as well. It's not going to be uh, that much of a stack. Yeah, I want to see if uh, Team Giganti here try and mi mix up their positioning to be able to gain healing from Zuppe while he's still in the gateway returning from his spawn. Morning Stars never got an advantage here. They're pressing it. Drujo has used his speed boost, they're moving on to the point. Yeah, Zappi's going to be back momentarily. He has got nano boost as well. Milky Man's going to uh, use that Ooh, Primal Rage, but Zappis comes in oh, with a Giganti bomb. That's just a vanilla self-destruct, securing two kills, and even Milky Man's going to find extra wrath. That stagger absolutely meant nothing. And Zappi even used that uh, nano boost as well to aid in the team fight efforts. Morning Stars have a couple of to work with, however, just been building up over the last couple of team fights. Have uh, five to work with as Malzasa gets his very shortly. Reasonably expensive fight there, though, from Team Giganti. Had to invest three ultimates, of course. Visility did get given that nano boost, but Exorath with the Great Sleep has now moved over instead onto that Zenyatta. Wants to lay down a Discord or make Milky Man much more vulnerable. Look at Davin's ult charge though, he's on 95%, and that sound barrier's already come down. They're not going to be too healthy as soon as Davin unleashes it. Visility even has his own ultimate. There is the Graviton Surge though, he's going to be able to secure the kill on Milky Man. Solo grab, and that uh, Transcend is only just a fraction too late. There's the EMP on the back line, that's what we wanted to see. Drew Drop with a little bit of armor is going to survive for the time being, but not from Vazility, who does end up crunching Casper into the ground. Even Self-Destruct is used to re-mech, but Vazility is just going to go to town on the back line of Morning Stars, picking up themselves a couple of kills, but Dragon Eddy is going to secure himself as well. I've got a couple of ticks and quicker respawns from Morning Stars is going to aid them in this instance. Having to rotate onto a point with less health, and Exorath just picking up one after another, Jaws. All right, feeling pretty good, even using that Transcendence. Little bit, uh, a little bit of questionable use, actually, in fact, because everybody did end up retreating, and they were only, a, they were three against four. But using that ultimate, x Rath's pretty good at charging them up, so I can imagine he's going to have one in no time. Four minutes and thirty seconds now remain for Morning Stars to attack second. Not the hugest time bank. Four second point in Team Giganti have two ultimates ready to go. Both their tank ultimates from Milky Man and Zap. As you can see, Malzas got hacked on his entrance there and will be aggressed upon shortly. Beautiful pack. Visibility is going to go down though big to Casper. Anti and a big anti nade does land on the rest of the team. As Dragon Eddie, he showed us to the World Cup when he was made up on the Diva, but you have to be cautious of that bio nade coming through from the Arna. Instant team fight win, like I mentioned earlier, if you land on some of these tanks. Zapis is about one HP. It does end up getting healed up in the end. Did get demeched, but Brazil 
ability is going to clean up the rest of the fight. Look at the discipline there from Zaster to not have used his self strike when he was demanked. He knew that Malzaster had went down, and that meant Morning Stars didn't really have the beef to stay on the point. They couldn't really try and aggress that, so he decided, you know what, I'm just going to try and farm off these large targets like Casper, like Dragon Eddie, get that make back, and have the self strike ready to use on my terms rather than as a stalling mechanic. And now Team Gigante, their patience has paid off. They almost have six ultimates ready to go, Jaws, and they're not going to need that many to get through the larger health bars of Morning Stars bolstered by the rally. And Davin almost goes down, but uses that translocate, and Malzasser not getting hacked this time around. Zilti also has that ultimate available to him very soon also. He's going to use that punch, and he's going to secure himself it. Doesn't want to get advanced on, and that transcendence used fairly early from Exorath. He's going to position it to try and kill and separate the supports, but very, very chunky where they are for sound barrier. A nano boost onto the Doom as well, and a big anti-nade onto Dragon Eddie. Does secure the kill onto Dredro. Also, Big clean up as well for Davin. He's going to get himself 40% extra charge for that next EMP. Casper is just going to donate the rest of his HP bar to the fight. They were actually going down. In fact, Gigante lost three members at the end, but they were able to clean up in the end. Uh, I think Casper may have had a all. grab eaten there by, uh, by Zapis. I'm not quite sure, maybe. But looks like he's now been reasonably disheartened. He's going to move over to a somber of his own, potentially try and catch out Davin here as he moves forward to try and farm up that EMP. But he's had enough. Of those shenanigans, going to lay down a translocator in here, because of course, while you are in that spawn, you are technically invincible, meaning that if you get caught out by like a damage over time effect like Anna and her bardic rifle, you don't die. Oh man, Casper's got to be careful. There's a lot of incoming fire, and you can see Zaps on the side. Nice action hack there. Not going to be able to use the defense matrix now. Now Zaps uses that bubble early, jumps to the back line, has got the primal rage to keep the supports in mind. However, you've got to be careful oh, though. No. That's a sleep dart. <laughs> and to Lilbo, you can't fully charge right click, even though you have a discord orb on him. Does mean he's going to be able to get out alive. That transcends at only a fraction too late, but he's going to keep the diva alive. Zapis is going to survive, and that will mean Gigante still have a retouch onto this point. Davin even switching over to the hamster. Indeed, he's going to come down and slam as well. There is the rally, giving some extra armor to all of the Morning Stars. Beautiful d mech there from Casper onto Zapis. Now be Dragon Eddie just trying to isolate this Winston. He's going to get hacked and he is going to pull the Primal Rage. So that's a lot of free ult charge and the self destruct now available for Dragon Eddie. Now they just have to chew through the health bars. There's even a May on the field as well from Zapis from Gigante in order to stall out this point even further. But 1 minute and 35 seconds is a pretty respectable time back for Hannah Moore. They just need to be able to clean the rest of the members up. Indeed, Milky Man has returned on the Doom Fist instantly MP. Casper, that's not very nice, my man. Oh boy, and you can see Casper on the side just hacking people as they come in. There's nothing you can do about oh, that. Like and then Gigante end up forfeiting the points. Yes, that will be yes. victory sound barrier used by Dorito in the end, just to make sure, just flexing a little bit, just making sure they know that if they did come in, we've still got another ult to spare. Similar like that choice of moving over from the Zarya onto the Sombra there from Casper was the correct one, was always able to try and punish any sort of... Uh, what would you call it? Aggression. That's a, that's a pretty easy word, but I managed to forget. Some aggression coming in from Team Gigante. When we saw Vizility make a dive on the Doomfist, he was hacked. When we saw Milky Man try and make an engagement on the Winston, he was hacked. Or even if it was Zappis, who got nano boosted, he got hacked as well. And it made and it made sense for Team Gigante to try and make these engagements early, to try and catch out Morning Stars in their back line, but they were waiting and they were ready and they managed to make sure that those dives were very ineffective because the abilities weren't available to try and back up or try and escape from those situations. Yeah, hack and EMP. Probably the two most, well, definitely in the top five powerful, uh, most powerful abilities in the game. Just removing someone's abilities and uh, sometimes even a lot of their healing potential as well. If someone like Lucio from the field just means you can't really do or much. Zen Yata. And uh, yeah, or Zen, yeah. That's shielding going down and you're left with 50 HP and uh, not hope left, really. It's kind of sad, I'm going to be honest. Gigante on the offense. Morningstar's on the defense this time. Doesn't like they're going to go for the same thing, though. Uh, they are running the Lucio instead, however. No Zen Yata to be seen. And this does mean potentially that if Exorath gets picked and they manage to win a fight thereafter, Drudro could of course taxi Exorath back since Xana doesn't have any mobility cooldowns. And that short, like, sort of period of time where you're looking for Anna to come back to a fight can be when an attacking team can seize the advantage. Right outside of 16 bit hero. Enough arcade games for the day. You've got a game to play. Looks like Facility is going to be using that sim. Potentially a cheeky teleporter play to get past everybody. There's the TP. Where's it going? Straight onto the point, of course. Milky Man off the TP. Oh my. If he had forgot to bind his interact key, I don't know what I'd have done. <laughs> Leaf is going to pay Facility a little bit of a visit with a hunch. Instant kill onto the very, very low health of Symmetra. With one member going down already and uh, Leaf doing a good job on the Doomfist of disrupting the front line. This looks very bad for Team Gigante. Milky Man sent to the ground. He does match the rocket punch with his own charge, but just sends them both 
pretty much uh, back to the spawn. There's not really much else you can do from there. Leaf is going to kill off Davin. And Fidelity deciding, yep, Sim, maybe not the best idea, is going to switch over to uh, Brigitte. What did we say coming in from a break, Jaws? It was that Leaf has a deadly Doomfist. And he's showing it off right now. He's on fire. He's got 94% of the way towards his <laughs> ultimate as well. And it's going to be very hard to escape that if you're Lilbo, potentially. Not a huge amount of escape ability. Potentially you can use that... Uh, a speed boost, but it could be hacked as well. There's VMP. The oh, nice uppercut onto Davin. No real uh, remnants left of him, unfortunately. Leaves didn't have to use his ultimate either. They're yeah. going to find another team wipe. Abby Zappe actually switching over to the Moira instead this time. No more Ana, just the Moira. They do have three ults on the side of Morning Stars. In fact, Juju is probably going to get his two, only 10% away, and that'll be a nice, healthy ultimate bank for them. Team Ganty opting for the dive ball now. Milky Man not going to be on for Reinhardt, but instead aggressing on the Winston. He gets the shield from Azai, but lays down his own. Now he's sort of on an island, Jaws, while he watches the rest of his team get aggressed upon. Yeah, he's doing a little bit of damage. Actually gets booped into the wall by the Diva. Nice thruster uses by Dragon Eddie to stop that full uh, leap coming through onto the door to maybe escape and an extra bit of ult charge as well to boot. 40% for Casper and look, five ultimates won. They didn't even need to uh, use an ultimate in that team fight. Morningstar is fantastic at their ultimate economy game. So much control here available as well. Drijo with a boot, Casper with the hack and of course Elite with the displacement. Like you said, Dragnetti getting those boots midway through Elite to stop momentum. All right, Malzasa receiving that nano boost. They really uh -oh. want to make it through. Leap. Oh, that was just cruel. Although, fade away from Zappe. Ends up going down to Malzasa who had a Tesla cannon straighten up in her face. Leap still has ultimate, doesn't decide to use it just yet. You normally see Doomfist using it as an escape tool more often than not, or a re-engage tool if you've used all your cooldowns to start the fight. Casper's got a uh, 70% on that EMP after that uh, initial engagement. That uh, will be Team Giganti with a couple of ults of their own, but they're going to have to quickly reset Dam here. That was just cruel. Another fade away from Zappe is just going to have to wait for Dam to respawn now. That's a yikes from me, George. Dragon Eddie staying up on the high ground there. The fusion cans of the facilities caught out as well. Let's look at the time bank of Team Giganti. One minute and 17 seconds remaining. They've got a couple of ultimates to their name, almost six of them. They may have to cash in so many to try and dislodge this defense of the Morning Stars, and Casper can make sure that none of them are available as well with the EMP should he so desire. And EMP into a Meteor Strike could prove fatal to Team Giganti. Yep, nothing left for you. Casper's waiting around this rock to try and get an EMP off. They are going to disengage rather quickly. You see, Davin used both shields and Milky Man also used his barrier. So they are going to wait for those cooldowns to reset and make for this re-engage. But they've got 47 seconds to do it. Yeah, and if they try and make an engage too late, they can be EMP'd and shut down very quickly. There is the rally and there's the speed boost as well. Jaws, Lilbo's got to be very careful to avoid the CMP if he wants to lay down the sound barrier when it is required. Oh, now they know where he is. He's actually going to just go for the little poking game. Milky Man's going to use uh, the Primal Rage in the back line to try and dislodge everybody. The Grab Surge is not going to get eaten. In fact, that uh, EMP oh. came out. I didn't even know what happened. Oh, God. But I know their self destructs are good. Dragon 80 finds three. Happy Zappa's finding another one. I think that Grab Surge was eaten just before the self destruct went out, so that one got completely nullified. Team Giganti still finding their way onto the point, however, they need to be able to just take it in the next 10 seconds or the game will be over. Lilbo killing off the Doomfist is a good sign, but the problem is, you've already got the Lucio now to contest. They're finally rolling in as Davin switches over to his signature tracer. Five members of Team Giganti remain, and Davin's quickly building up towards a pulse from kill after kill, Jaws. Alright, he's got two. Malzasa's gonna fall. That'll be Dragon Eddie's mech falling as well. Lilbo finds himself another kill in overtime. Team Giganti, Managed to find the team fight win they were after. Not before, though, Dragon Eddie and Zappis trade self destruct kills. Three kills for two, but Team Giganti are going to win out on that one with the spawn attrition that they do have. They spawn much closer to first point than Morning Stars. But of course, Morning Stars can now swap up their composition. They invested so much in that previous fight. That's exactly what they're going to do. Casper actually decided to move over to the Zyre and looks a little bit indecisive at the moment, but he's giving up old charge as he decides what to play. And for now, it looks like Morning Stars are going to settle on our classical, the Goats comp over 33, and Team Giganti will be doing exactly the same. But this means there's a large reset in ultimate economy here. Jirudra is going to be the closest with that sound barrier in Lilbo. Can potentially join him. He's about halfway there, but a significant advantage for the French Lucy. Oh, wait, they're both French. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, they're both nice. Dragon Eddie on the sidelines, you can see. Being rather cheeky here. Can use that matrix to actually stop a lot of that damage coming through from the bridge. And keep people off like this. It's gonna get stunned, but the rest of Giganti are gonna make their way down to the bottom to secure uh, the much needed backup. That sound barrier being used by Team uh, Team Morning Stars just aids them in their quest to try and find the defense. That'll be pretty easy clean up after that. Dragon Eddie's team got pinned, got pinned to the wall in the 
the sandbag came through to save him just in time. Zappis is going to find the reset. Morningstar still building up their own ult bank. Wishful thinking there from Dragon Eddie trying to defend Matrix. Milky Man's hammer swings. Nova that short duel with the Diva. Milky Man did manage to gain himself an Earth Shadow ready to go. Mas, that's is slightly behind, but not too much. It's going to be one or two swings until he has his own ready. We are going to see fireworks as well. Two self-destructs ready to go on the field, but Lilbo has the distinct advantage of the sound barrier. He's already laid it down. Oh, there's the Shadow. Only points one, and Milky Man actually gets booped off the edge. Leaf is going to go down first, and that Transcendent should hopefully keep Morning Stars in the fight to start off with. With Zappi falling as well, means he can't build up any old charge either, and Casper just free, just melt people. He's got a Graviton Surge ready to go, but will they need it? They've even got a rally coming up soon also. Giganti are going to activate their rally in a bit to actually stay in this fight. A Graviton Surge in the side room is going to be on a health fight, but it doesn't seem to matter. Now, Zass is going to find the kill onto Vazility, and that will be Morningstars finding another team fight win and finding three ults to work with in the next fight. Team Giganti have already eaten through half of their time bank. Four point B jaws. Two minutes remain, and Davin still needs to get up towards that Graviton Surge. Of course, it was invested a little bit earlier. Mazasa, once again, has ready to go the Earth Shatter, and he can lay that down at his beck and call. He can combine with Leaf for that all-important stun shatter combo. And if Team Giganti engage, Giganti engage together, it can be deadly. Oh, the Shield Bash doesn't end up quite finding anything. In fact, the rest of the team were uh, around that corner. Lilbo's going to find Leaf yet again. Leaf goes down so early in these team fights, but Malzasa finding Milky Man. Now there's no frontline shield for Giganti to stand behind. However, Davin absorbing all of that self-destruct damage with his own personal shield is going to net him a lot of charge and a Graviton Surge to boot. He it out, but it got eaten by Dragon Eddy. He's defense matrixing forward and it went straight on in. Yummy, yummy. Graviton Surge eaten up and Morningstar just charging into the corner, just making Team Giganti feel the burn. Gra um, the Sound Barrier does come out from Little Bow and a Shatter also to try and remove one member. The Graviton Surge does lock them all in place, but the problem is Team Giganti are still wiping them up. Vizility is going to go down to Malzasa, but a very, very short respawn for him. And now Zuppe is in his element. He has all the armor he needs, and he's landing orb after orb here onto Dredro. They're going to find the re-engage. He's got 80% on his own ultimate. He died before he can actually get out of that animation. Dragon Eddy is going to get pinned to the wall as well. Nice boot kill from uh, Milky Man, and that will be a Graviton Surge to lock <laughs> up the hamster. Leaf ends up going down. The Mage jump onto the uh, jump onto the point with the ice block. No more cooldowns for the May. Could land her in a, a bit of hot bother. Not where May wants to be whatsoever, as Zappe does end up finding the kill on to, with this Ultra Struct. Another Transcendence comes out, this time on the side of Team Giganti, and a Sound Barrier to match. Vizilti is rejoining the phrase on the Doom Fist and Dredro has gone down to the solo Earth Shadow. Nice kill from Davin. Picks up Dragon Eddy's mech as well. They're trying to make it stick. Here ten comes the balls. Shorts. Ten seconds remain and only two ticks have been acquired from Team Giganti. They end oh, up finding the just third. About. Only just Casper gets killed at the very end. A team kill for Giganti. Round two completes with a little bit of time on the clock. How many a minute now? Oh no, no let's time about at all. What, let's OT. talk about why that's important. Because they didn't complete in overtime, it does mean that Morning Stars did get an extension to their time, but not completing before overtime was the important thing here for Giganti. Now they get that courtesy minute, they get their extra attack. And this means that this fight isn't over yet. If not, it would have been a draw or potentially a win for the side of the Morning Stars. But now Team Giganti have the chance to bring this back. We'll have to see what kind of attack we're going to pull out this time because they did take their time to get that first point. All four minutes, basically, and they had to invest so many odds to do it, including having Davin swap onto the emergency signature tracer. A little like a second remaining, man. I was so close. Morning Stars now on the defense. Two minutes and 16 seconds. Double and a little bit extra for Morning Stars. Looks like they're going to go for the same thing. They're going to go stick Leaf on the Doomfist. They're going to have Casper on that Sombra. Two and two. 20 seconds remain. Team Giganti. We'll see what they want to run out of the gate here. Because remember how long it actually took them to get onto the point first up. It actually caused them, uh, caused them to go into overtime before they could actually find the cap. And it was all on Davin as well. Switching over to the Signature Tracer to actually clean up the rest of the fight and secure the cap. But at the moment, looks like Davin may decide to go for that Sombra to match Casper, who's been so effective with it thus far. He can scout out. You can see him right above the spawn there. Gonna be talking about exactly. Oh, Davin, why have you unstealthed? Not like this. Okay. <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. He's fine. Well, he is gonna now be revealed to Morning Stars intel wise that he's gonna be around. So you can check, see that Malzasa and Dragon Lady will be constantly checking for those invisible Sombras and trying to make sure they don't get the engagement that they want. They can't really find it in just yet. Team Ganty using that speed boost to give a little wrap around here. Coming out from the side. Dragon Eddie, yep. Yeah. 
He knows he can't be there. Especially with Darren hanging around, because hack on the demon. Pretty useless. And he has those uh, mini guns to work with. Now Zasa taking a little bit of extra damage here, but Casper's fallen low, so Davin now can move everyone onto a point, and Zapps is going to be here to try and lay down some fire as well. Mood Command's taking control Ooh. of that primary entrance. Now she has a big ult battery for the rest of uh, Morning Star. She did end up getting hacked. Nice uppercut, but doesn't actually secure the kill. Beautiful healing coming through, in fact, from Team Giganti. Support backline doing its job to start off with. Dragon Eddie ends up going down. They've got four seconds remaining here. Team Giganti needs to be able to make these kills stick. Morning stars are making it uh, making it worthwhile though. They are going to force them into overtime. Davin picks up a couple of kills, but more importantly here, Casper actually has that EMP online. Davin has his to match also, but one EMP from Casper could just end the game. EMP. Then you see Vasility look towards Dragon. He's going to try and farm him for a remainder of his ultimate. Get that graviton surge and lay it down. That's Team Giganti's battle plan here. They can try and use up his coalescence to either get themselves in nice and healthily, or they can use it to lay down extra damage into the graviton and try and guarantee guarantee those kills. So they have to touch pretty quick. Casper is on the back line, wants to try and catch a hack onto Zappes. However, jumps up into the air, gets instantly killed. Casper is going to fall. Zappes is going to regain control of his mech. No more EMP. And there's the EMP from Giganti on the back line. Milky Man is going to find the kill onto Dragon Eddie. No hope for the Ana gets swung out and Milky Van finds another kill. Even the Lucio struggling to get away. Zappe is going to chase him down. Casper ends up respawning but translocating back in. A primary agent Winston to try and lock up the point but instantly gets grabbed on Surge. Dragon Eddie trying to sustain through that damage. However, that defense matrix is going to be too good now. Self-destruct still available but was actually hacked so he couldn't end up using it. A Meteor Strike does get launched up into the air and Leaf sends it down. Milky Man there with the shield to save the rest of his team and a Self-destruct might just end it as Redro ends up getting taken out. Xraf getting onto the point, but it might just be too little too late. That right there draws a lot of value for five seconds. Milky Man swinging for the fence. He's got everything he wants and more, and almost the entire cap. There's a finish from Team Giganti. And now Morningstar, as you said, they've got more than two and a half times, or rather about two times, and a little bit extra compared to the time that Giganti had. But now they've got to capture two points with that two minutes and 16. Otherwise, they'll be forfeiting this game. Can't do numbers today. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> head, mathematics is hard. Head spinning a little bit today. It's all good. <laughs> so, uh, Giganti's head not quite so spinning though. Two caps on the point. Net them with four points on the board. No seconds remaining. Obviously, we have to wait to see what Morning Stars are gonna do. Remember, like you said, two minutes and sixteen seconds remain. Giganti. Just hold fast. Are they going to run the Sombra Doomfist? It does look like they are going to be. A little boat on the uh, Zenyatta as well, with Zappe to back them up on the Ana. Team Giganti did have a pretty effective first point defense as well. Both Morning Stars and Giganti struggled to get through a first point on their first round of attacking. So, we'll have to see if Morning Stars have learned much from their earlier excursions. If so, potentially they can try and snowball as hard as Giganti did. And of course, having two minutes does mean you have the luxury of trying to build up ultimates if you can't take it on your first fight, and you can try and use that to snowball into second point. And once you do capture first, you do get an additional 30 seconds, which usually serves to ferry your team over to second point, but doesn't get the entirety of a fight covered in that. So usually it'll go to overtime when you'll be stuck with zero, which is where Team Giganti are at the moment. But of course, they did manage to cap, so can't complain too much. But old school Overwatch right now. Morning Stars running out the gate with a quad tank, with Leaf actually on the uh, hog as well. So one pick is all they need to score this fight, hopefully. There's the Duke Fist, uppercutting two people. Oh, what was that hook? <laughs> Leaf in midair, managed to find facility. He's going to keep himself alive. Milky Man is going to find a kill, though. Trejo already going down. Morning Stars only got one healer left. However, Coalesce is building up extremely quickly for Xrath. Already at 70% as he's now the solo healer. Davin is going to translocate away and Leaf taking a lot of... Uh, facility taking a lot of damage as well. Has to get out of there fast. Leaf hit shot after shot. He's already 70% of the way to that whole hog. And Casper's got all the energy once and more. Warding away Zapis. One tick already acquired. Facility's going to go down. Mazas is going to find the kill and Casper is going to keep the rest of his team nice and healthy with those shields as well. His quad tank working out perfectly. A bit of a flashback to Season 1. Dredro finding the kill onto Milky Man. This is looking pretty good for Morning Stars now. Casper and Dredro. Oh, it was always looking good for Morning Stars. I was looking at Giganti like, what have they got old? They can push, but there's only two of them left on the point. Zappe ends up going down, has got that nano available to them. One EMP from Davin could end it all, but look at the ultimates coming online for Morning Stars. Indeed, like you said, flashbacks to season one with a quad tank, but flashback to reality, almost time for gravity. Casper has that graviton surge, almost ready to go 13% away from that, but he can be shut down quickly by Davin, which will strip away the shields. Sitting up inside. Oh, gets tagged with the Moira orb. That's pretty frustrating. Does manage to find the uh, re-stealth, however. Very hesitant to come in, though. 
the EMP waiting for them. Dragon Eddie taking a little bit of damage. Davin just skirting around the outside of the point. Doesn't want to get revealed too early. Just standing in front of everybody. There's the EMP after the shields came through. Casper instantly deleted. Half HP from the EMP. Easy kills for Zappis. Even a Meteor Strike coming through from Facility to try and kill off Leaf. Leaf does manage to find one kill. 50 seconds remain. Does grant Morning Stars an additional attack. Whew. Well, x did there. use the Coalescence there, Jaws, so that healing is not going to be available. I want to see if he swaps over. No, instead he is going to decide to stick with that Moira. And why not? When you've got four hey tanks, there. you are going to get that Coalescence by the end of this minute, I'm pretty well assured. But Giganti have their own pretty sp nice old bank as well. Two spot ultimates ready to go. One defensive, one pretty offensive in terms of the nano boost. And they can apply that to Davin, to Milky Man, to Zapis, or to Visility, depending on who needs it at what time to potentially ever save their life or put them in a position to destroy everyone. So variables. What nice hook on to Davin. But translocation. Couldn't actually quite see him. There are a lot of bodies in the way. There is the sound barrier as well as that whole hole going off to push everybody away. They're going to be able to cement themselves on the point. And Casper has earned himself a graviton surge as well. Everybody pushed back and actually Zap is taking most of this punishment. He's going to send the self to strike in the air. That All that damage being absorbed. And a beautiful grab surge actually is going to find one. And it's going to be facility. Davin is going to go down very quickly as well to Leaf, who's just walking into him in a transcendence to keep everybody alive on the side of Giganti. But they're going to need to make themselves relevant on the point. Mazas has swapped over to Wrecking Ball and wants to get back fast. The pay's gone down, but so has Leaf. And now, Morning Stars are running out of players. Uh oh, Dree Joe's going to fall as well. This could be it. Giganti might just be on match point after this. Lil Bo's going to go down as well. Dragon Andy's going to find the kill. Facility ends up respawning. Mazasa hopped over to the ball. Is going to find at least one kill, or at least the kill onto Dragon Eddy's mech. The problem is that Bunny Blast is doing a lot of damage. Actually kills off Facility. But it's Milky Man now just chasing down the Zaya. Casper had nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Giganti end up taking Hanamura after a slugfest of a fight. Coming in from behind with the upset was Giganti. Of course, like you said, they did manage to claim that. So they're now up 2 1. But as we move into Escort, once again, Morning Stars will be able to pick the map. And like we've seen, there's a little bit of a recurring theme. Whoever picks the map usually gets to win. And the choices for Escort are Dorado or Route 66. And I wonder where we're going to go. Dorado, I think, would be better suited to bringing KSP on that Widow. We keep talking about it, but substitutions can be incredibly well tactically timed when you want to try and bring something out from behind with an upset f force a fifth map. Well, we'll have to wait and see if he is going to be brought out. But we've got Escort coming up. We're going to go jump to a quick break, though. Don't go anywhere, guys. They, they don't, don't just play, play for a team. team. They, they play, play for every fan, every rival, every moment, every match. And when everyone watching expects the best, they perform with the best.
Hey guys, welcome back. This is Giganti versus Morning Stars. We're at two ROM right now. Giganti taking the lead after securing their win on Hanamura. We're about to jump onto Escort as our next game type. 2 1, but it's incredibly close thus far. That was a real slugfest on Hanamura going 3 to 4 and overtime in both cases. We'll have to see where. Morning Stars want to take us for Escort. They have a choice of either Dorado or Route 66. Dorado, a little bit more dive heavy, but of course, towards those last points on uh, on Route 66, you can bring out quite a few tanks. And of course, on the first point of Route 66 as well, it's very famous how early you can really hold that right outside the opponent's spawn straight on that payload to try and stymie any progress. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating when you get held that far up, and we might actually see that. There we go. Route 66 is going to be the map choice of Morning Stars. Now, like you said just a second ago, whoever picks the map seems to actually win it. So we'll see if uh, Morning Stars can take us to a game five. Route 66, very, very prominent tank plays, but you can also play a lot of Farah. Farah has been changed, remember. She has got that uh, projectile speed increase and a little bit of damage as well. So no more can you just spam Farah rockets to get that AoE splash damage. You have to be a little bit more direct this time around, and she can be played around these cliffs, especially on first point. Not so much second, it's too much open air. Give you some good vertical uh, cover there from potential hit scans like a Widowmaker McCree or even an Ana in some cases, Jaws. Anna can prove a pretty uh, nasty deterrent towards that Farah because she now does six, uh, well, 70 damage per shot, but that's not really news. That's like a few patches old, but yeah. importantly, that kills a 200 HP Farah in three Attack shots. In yeah. As far as going to go down pretty quickly. Especially Absolutely. if there's incoming fire as well from a D.Va. You can uh, combo that pretty well. You get one shot on. That's pretty easy for the D.Va to just run up straight into her face with thrusters and take her out. Giganti are on the defense first. And they look like they want to go for this full hold. Holding in this smaller corridor here in the mega health room. Morning Stars. Bit of a weird comp, but, you know, they're just changing up Mazza, so I can't imagine he's going to be jumping on the Widowmaker anytime soon. And that's what we talked about when we said about early first holds, because you can hold pretty much straight away from that cart and make sure the enemy can't really get that far out of spawn. That is a turret coming out from Jeridro. Just uh, that's a zoning turret. Casper going to move over now to the Bastion. He was labeled as his favorite, uh, as his <gasps> Jeridro. Oh with goodness. the Symmetra of a teleporter up onto the high ground, potentially there it is. Everyone's going to have a nicely shielded Casper. Oh, no. You're in trouble now, boys. Oh, Dragon Eddie's going to match them on the cart here to get a little bit of progress. Casper <laughs> chasing everybody off on this Bastion. There's no one that's going to be able to stop him now. Oh, he's going to rip through this front line. Milky Man, though, is going to be able to touch that cart. Same with that uh, Diva. But the problem is, Zapis is all alone over there. Taking extremely low. A little bit more health. There's a teleporter to relocate them. Oh, man. Casper is going to melt Milky Man's shield. But a lot of incoming fire from the Zenyatta is going to send Casper packing for the time being. However, Milky Man now relocating. They're doing a good job of playing around it so far. Morning Stars with these great Bastion rotations. Now, my boys, you are thinking with portals. They've moved up onto the high ground. X-Raps up there, and so is everyone else. <laughs> Ke question is, when will Team Gigant get caught out? We need to try and rotate onto the cart here, potentially. There's another portal coming through. <laughs> you need to touch at some point. Casper is half HP, taking a lot of damage and actually taken down. Sim Barry is now available to them. A big shield will cover half the map if they position it correctly. We'll see if they want to stick on it or switch off. Casper is up to 60%. No, there we go. Switching over to that Zaya. Dredro, is he going to swap the heals? I can imagine so, just looking at that lineup right now. Or not, we're gonna use that project. There we go, okay. He slightly painted everybody <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It was there. a zoning barrier, Jaws, a zoning barrier. Everybody got a little bit scared and rattled up, but Team Giganti, look how many ults they have online already. They've done a huge amount of damage, now Dragon Age is gonna duel out with Zappers. We need to be careful not to take too much damage, of course. They've managed to move away, so I you may need to use that Transcendence to back up his team at a moment's notice. What are you doing down there, Lee? That is going to surround you and uh, just eat you up for breakfast. Even uh -oh. Milky Man doing the same thing as well. Not where you want to be. Nice charge, or in fact, a Shield Bash strikes. He cancelled the charge out completely. That's a kill for Lil Bo and Zuppe. They're going to be bloodthirsty supports for the time. Well, two minutes now remain. Only half the time bank used there by Morning Stars to try and that cheeky strat. They haven't even really got ults to work with here. They've got that Transcendence, but look, Malzassa's 30% away for an ult. Great display. Play a synergy there from his ability to use the shield bash to save Milky Man from the charge of Malzasa. You need to know that these guys haven't been together for very long. It's a pretty fresh roster and just map after map in this series for gaining synergy. Davin going extremely low. They have to keep him alive because he has that ult available very, very soon. There's the hammer. Here's the ground. Leaf hits the rock as well as the charge comes through. Both transcenders keeping everybody alive on the cart, but Morning Star still. But uh, their time is still being burned by Team Giganti. They're going to find a couple of kills, finally securing the payload. But look at that. Two minutes and 45 seconds burned at their spawn doors. Giganti have a lot of ults to work with in the next fight as well. 
But now Morning Stars are always on the clock in a very pressured fashion. Casper has yet another Graviton Surge ready to go, but Zapis, as always, going to be ready to try and eat it up. Milky Man going to be front and center here with the shield damage taking a little bit of damage there, but we'll be using the repair pack. That's not now not available for Zappi. Should he be aggressed oh, upon? That was beautiful. Nice eat from Zappis to actually take away the grab from Surge of Casper. Now they have grab advantage. Davin's going to have to look for one of his. They're going to chug it onto the payloads and a self-destruct to try and get a little bit of defense. In fact, that is going to work quite nicely. Milky Man's going to go down and visibility is going to fall as well. A rally coming through from Morning Stars to solidify themselves on the point. Casper is going to find yet another kill onto the Zenyatta. And that'll be Morning Stars winning the preceding fight, even though the grab got eaten. Maybe so, but Casper's already 56% of the way towards the next one. He's moved forward a load of energy and a couple of morts as well to try and secure this with only 19 seconds. Jaws left on the clock. Will be a completion of point A by Morning Stars. So we'll get two minutes and 30 seconds more. And that now they are split up by the aggression of Team Gigante. Potentially need to move back here and regroup onto the car. Got to do it. You've got to push the cart through. It's a source of healing, remember. It can be a little bastion of hope if you're ever too low. Milky Man can't really go too far into this choke. There's two different ways he actually has to look to try and uh, block a lot of that damage coming through from the two tunnels. Uh, Zappis is on the high ground too to make sure he can try and eat at least. Casper's grabbed on Surge, which is coming online yet again. And now, Team Gantry are pretty smart because now this door is closed behind for Morning Stars. We've only got two methods of Ingress left. That was a nice grab. Straight on top of the cart, however, Transcend is coming through from Zuppe to keep them alive. There Ooh, is the sound pounds. barrier for instant shatter and an instant Graviton surge to boot as well. Mickey Man's going to have another one as well. You see that old charge? He went from like 40 to 90 almost instantly. Brazility is going to find a kill, but Malzassa is going to find one in turn. Leaf going down leaves no rally for them for the preceding fight. However, a self destruct up at the air and Another shatter from Milky Man ends up hitting three to the floor. Zappe and Milky Man finding the next two kills and a rally to seal the deal. Morning Stars are going to have to regroup in their base, but the preceding ultimates from Giganti were way too much for Morning Stars to handle. Who would expect a second three man shatter within 15 seconds of the first five man shatter? And now look at this aggression. Team Giganti are right at their door. <laughs> Actually, at the door. I said Morning Stars <laughs> only had two points of ingress, but now they only have one exit from their spawn available and straight into the maws of Giganti. A rally from Leaf will move them forward and so will a speed boost, but will Giganti get caught out here? I don't know. Zappe has another Transcendence online. He's been pumping in the front line and earned himself another one to stop that damage coming through from Casper. Still, for the grab on Surge. There we go. Lots more line. No uh, bomb to actually deal with this. No Giganti combo, really. Malzasa ends up hitting the wall. Doesn't even hit Zappe with that charge. The grab on Surge as well. Team Giganti to block them all in the place. And the sound barrier as well from Dredro as he did dodge out the way. Brazility going down also. That's one support dead. Ghost Cop not looking so strong right now. Milky Man just trying to run for the, uh, run for the hills. However, Zappe not Ooh, doing quite block. just that. Nice block, however. The rest of the team is going to go down. Dredro going to find the boot kill on the Milky Man. And that will be morning. Stars moving the cart forward, but look at the time man yet again. Giganti just burned through it. May have been a win for a fight there from Morning Stars, but it was a huge investment. Malzassi used the Zerf Shadow and actually stopped Zappis from using his self destruct into that Graviton Surge. But despite Zappis being stunned, both Dredro and Exoraph stacked their support ultimates. Sand Barrier and Transcendence, you're not going to get a huge amount of value out of that Jaws. Now neither of them is available. Lilbo has a distinct advantage of Sand Barrier. Zuppe is almost there as well, and we're in the last fight territory. And we know David built up that all very quickly, did so at uh, the World Cup over in BlizzCon. Even paired up against South Korea pretty well. Nice shield back straight onto Milky Man. It's going to net Dragon Eddie a kill. Four meters remain, and a couple of seconds remain on the clock for Morning Stars to push this cart onto the second point. Just burning the time bank now. Or what little of it is left. Our team Giganti. A few more kills and a few extra percentages for their ultimates as well. Coming up to the next fight. One minute and 30 seconds have been added, but still Giganti hold fast. Fantastic defense so far, but Morning Stars have the ults. I mentioned that Team Giganti did have two support ultimates to play with in that particular fight, but they used both of them and no one really survived. So not the ideal efficacy that you want out of those particular ultimates. And Facility now building up towards that rally and Davin all important with the Graviton Surge as well, but he's going to be able to use oh, it here. Shadow onto Facility and Milky Man in the front line. Leaf ends up getting the boot kill and Davin's going to go down as well. Not before demecking Dragon Eddie. They are still going to be able to touch this car, burning a little bit more time. You can see the what, what Giganti are trying to do here. Every single single time the car is in uh, contestation, they are just burning away at this time bank. That they are. Morning Star still on the clock. 40 seconds remain. Two ultimates in the bank and a third almost ready if Casper can land a few more mortars. Look at him glowing like a Christmas tree. All the energy in the world. And he does have a Discord Orb on as well to try and ward them away. Milky Man moving forward. Going to be swinging for it. He does have that Earth Shadow ready to go. Jaws has got to combine it with a Shield Bash potentially. 
got to do it. Shilbash is going to be on point. Casper has his ult online, though. Got to look for that eat Zappis if you're going to save this team fight. Not quite there. Grabbed on Surge in the face as well. That's a lot of light show going on. There will be a nice kill onto Leaf, however. And a transcendence from X-Rath to keep the rest of the team alive. There is a chatter. Beautiful ball from Milky Man. See that 180 straight up with a shield. He knows what's good. That'll be Dredro laying down the sound barrier to keep the rest of the team in the fight. Dragon Eddie's mech is not going to fare so well, however. And short spawn time is for Gigante. Will net them at least a couple of respawns before anything else happens. Another big shatter from Milky Man does send the rest of Morning Stars back to base. Overtime ticking through. An emergency Doomfist from Leaf to try and touch the point. But it's all over. Team Giganti end up whittling the time back down to zero. Round one completion and only two points on the board there for Morningstar. Milky Man's no fall, it's hard to get past him, but I want to highlight something that was really cool there from Leaf. He managed to platform up onto the uh, side area where Zappis was overlooking the fight, ready to eat up Casper's grab. And what he did was he managed to hit the shield bash to stun and then managed to prolong the uh, time by which Zappis would be unable to eat that Graviton by whipshotting him away and allowing for a clear path for that Graviton. So that was some great ability usage by Leaf to make sure that the Graviton would not be eaten by the Defense Matrix. And that teamwork from Morningstar is something that potentially we can put down to things like the fact they're in the team house. They have these resources available towards them like coaching, like being able to live together as a team that can help them build up synergy so quickly even for a relatively new team. So, so fast, and hey, they don't have to cook with themselves either. Did yeah. you know they have a cook, by the way? Really? Oh, oh yeah. I think Derry may have mentioned it at some point. <laughs> yeah, some maybe like four or five times over on the desk. Morning stars on the defense now. Giganti, all they have to do is make it to that third point, or just before it, of course. They didn't actually get anywhere near, well, uh, I say anywhere near it. They actually got about three quarters of the way. 57 meters, to be precise. Point now, away, to be precise, Jules. You're being all right. general. <laughs> you can round down point zero. I mean, whatever. You're well, being precise. Stick to your word. No. <laughs> That's too precise. Morning Stars on the defense. They're going to run the Doomfist and Sombra with Dredro on the Lucio. No I, more Zenyatta. I particularly like the Sombra here because, of course, you do have the double mega health packs, one in the cave, which connects the first area to the second here on point A, and, of course, one under Big Earl's gas station, meaning that you can very much sustain your tanks if they can move over towards those health packs. That's a potential of 62.5 healing per second, which is 250 every four seconds. Well, Scouting Arrow was used by Zappé there, just to try and spot any shenanigans coming out from Morning Stars. And he switches over, not to the Zenyatta. They know there isn't gonna, they aren't going to run it into this 3-3, otherwise they'd have been held at the gate. No, they're going to go for Moitra for that's some more great. healing. That isn't great. Uh, Zenyatta does find the stun kill straight onto Casper with the finishing off of the whip shot. He's going to just throw himself to the walls and actually get taken out by Little Bow there. Not something you usually see, supports killing off the Doomfist. Doesn't let himself a nice bit of ult charge, but Giganti finding two kills, makes that a third as Dragon. Eddie goes down. Pretty nice to start them off with. Not a huge fan of that engage from Dragon Eddie there. He used for a main of his booster to move into the heart of Team Giganti. And that meant that Davin was just like, oh, <laughs> I guess you can't get away. And I've got some charge, so I'm going to ha farm halfway to my Graviton. He's 54% of the way there and 50% ahead of Casper, who swapped over to that Zarya after having been picked off on the Sombra initially. Nice use of the tab key there by Zappe. is going to be able to change up to the Zenyatta, knowing they're going to run into tanks. Milky Man goes down, but fairly aggressive. Didn't really expect it at all. Five people running towards you straight away, and the next Xerath coming up the rear as well. That will be Casper taking uh, Davin's life away from him. Two minutes and 40 seconds remain, but Giganti still with a lot of room to move here. They were able to get it quite far. Remember, Morning Stars had a bit of trouble actually getting at all. I would like to have seen Lil Boy be a little bit less hasty with his retreat there to try and get Davin out, because Davin had so much energy to play with, and now he's going to have zero as he moves in. Has to invest those barriers if he wants it. Looks like no one's shooting him at the moment. Doesn't have that personal barrier, so he's going to be a big target here for the Morning Stars. Zappos goes extremely low. Milky Man's going to go down. Casper is going to use that opportunity. They had to shield the self-destruct in order to get a bit of damage down. Vizinti does manage to secure a kill. Shouldn't be uh, too much of an issue, though. Although Exorath is a very slow Zenyatta, shouldn't take him too long to get back to uh, to fighting and ready up on top of that gas station. Milky Man has, of course, swapped over to that Reinhardt now. Going to go man on man with Malzasa. Reinhardt versus Reinhardt. But Team Ganty, look at that ultimate bank. Already they've used for Rally. Going to be bolstering Zuppe and Davin with that under shield armor, which is so effective at mitigating small armor's fire. Like the Diva Fusion camps, they also have the Graviton and the Self Destruct ready to go. But Dragon is poised and ready to try. Oh, oh, nice grab. There's the Giganti bomb. Zappis, can they manage to get the uh, the pin? No, they cannot. In fact, a, uh, a stun came through or a whip shot to Milky Man to make Great sure he move. couldn't go for anything. 
Rasmus going to find the kill into facility yet again. 3-3, running away for the time. Can't fight without the Brigitte. And that just leaves Kassa to farm up the rest of Gigante and earn himself a grab. It's a heartbreaking anticlimax there for Team Gigante. Felt some great play, like you said, from Dridra. Managed to boot Milky Man back so that he had a longer travel time towards Malzasa, who was his primary target of that charge, to try and get rid of the shield, but wasn't quite able to. Smacked into the cart instead, and everyone was protected from the combat. Kassa was doing a lot of damage with those Plasma Mortars. Has got grabbed too. There's is the rally coming out from Morningstar to push them forward. Malzasa does have an ult available to him. Casper's going to throw his out, but the Transcend is going to keep them alive. Malzasa is going to earn himself a uh, Earth Shattered though. And Dirijo killing off David again. Ganty end up losing one member. Going to have to retreat. 40 seconds, uh, well, 45 seconds, sorry, now remain. Route 66.1, not looking so hot for either of these teams, honestly. Just held in two different places. Morningstar's thirsty to pull out that fifth map tiebreaker, which, those of you who are wondering, will be Nepal if we get there. But let's focus on the present. We do have Lobo ready with the sound. Our own Drujo can match him there. Look at that beautiful use of the shield slam. Milky Man sent the four sound barrier, not enough to save him. Drujo is going to unleash his own sound barrier, but you, you lost your main tank on the side of Team Gigante. It doesn't really mean you need to use the sound barrier there. Maybe a little bit uh, overzealous coming out from Drujo. Aren't going to have that for the preceding fight, but it's only 10 seconds remaining. So just chasing them out was good enough for him. Lobo's got to amp it up. Milky Man's already used his charge to try and move forward, but he's faced with six members of Morning Stars that stand between him and the car. Two seconds remaining. Draw. It's going to be an overtime job right here. Milky Man has the shadow, but it's already half HP. Davin has that ultimate online very soon as well. They are still pushing the car, but taking a fair bit of damage. Davin's going down extremely quickly. Exorath just going to take a nice little off to the head. However, the shatter hitting under the car is going to net themselves a couple of... Uh, a couple of sit downs, however, Transcendence is going to save both of the teams. Rally coming out from Morning Stars yet again to keep everybody nice and healthy in the preceding fight. Extra not receiving a lot of that armor, but it doesn't seem to matter. And now Overtime is in session. Dragon Eddy has the self destruct, but is he going to be able to get anybody? It doesn't really seem to matter because apparently Extra he's going to put the rest of his team on his back. Morning Stars with the victory. Team Giganti step off the payload for a second. And Overtime just ticks right in right, ticks away right in front of your eyes. Down there getting punished for greediness. He had the key, he had the Graviton, went out a little bit too far, got punished for it. And that, when you're in overtime, you have longer respawns, which means that he took so long to get back, doesn't have any mobility, as Azaya can't bring that Graviton to bear. And eventually it meant that Gigante just couldn't win out that fight. So, map five, Jaws. It looks so close, especially that um, the first fight. Initially, they were able to push around that corner, but Morning Stars, switching off the Doomfist and the Sombra, switching up to the 3-3, was managed to hold. And that looked good for Gigante, especially as well. They hold for so long at the gate of Morning Stars on the, uh, on the defense. They managed to burn away so much of the time bank, but with that full hold coming through for Morning Stars, like you mentioned before, it is going to be Nepal for our tiebreaker. Indeed. And like we said, the motif has been you pick the map, you win. But Nepal is pre-selected as our tiebreaker. And if we look at the previous uh, couple of maps, control did go the way of Gigant. So you're going to have to wonder if that's going to be the case once more. Well, we'll have to wait and see. We're going to jump to a quick break, guys. Don't go anywhere. Map number five coming up soon.
Hey guys, welcome back. This is Giganti versus Morning Stars. We're going to go to our first tiebreaker game of Contender Season 3. Day 1. Oh yes. Technically match 3, but in reality match 2. And we've already got ourselves a fifth map. This is what Contender is all about. The closest competition between the finest that EU has to offer. And I think a lot of the finery that EU has to offer is on display in this particular matchup. Giganti, we saw the departure of a lot of players and including one coach. But they are still... There in spirit, and Davin leading the charge on that Zaya. He did step off the point ever so slightly and ended up well, he, losing that map. He, he stepped like in front of a Rhine shield ever so slightly and lost his life and yeah. potentially the map by not being able to use that Graviton. But this just swings and roundabouts. Bygones be bygones. And let's look to the future, Jaws. We're heading to the snowy mountaintop of Nepal. Yeah, very, quite an interesting stage, Nepal. Quite a, a variety of comms you can end up running. I want to see what they're going to run on Sanctum. I hope that's going to be the first map, because normally we do see something like Arissa Hog make use of that big open chasm to pull people in with either the Holt or obviously the Hook. Isn't New Hog, though, just to uh, make everybody aware? It's not going to be the Fast Hook Hog, which looks very scary, by the way. I don't really want to play against that. <laughs> you, you, you just don't like anything that can kill you as a Zenyatta. The only thing you... Or is it just a support? It sucks. <laughs> like, it actually sucks. <laughs> the only thing you like is uh, maybe like a Reinhardt to stand in front of me, please. Yeah. <laughs> but potentially, like you uh, wished for, Jaws, we are on the Sanctum, so big old smile for you. And often on the Sanctum, we can see long-range hit scan. I've will see like a double sniper, like a Hanzo Widow. We saw South Korea bring that out in their match against uh, the UK, and the UK managed to mirror that up. And occasionally, you can have the Soldier of McCree as well, because their damage drop-off is pretty much about the same as the width of the point. Yeah, Soldier being changed quite recently to kind of match some of these other more dominant hit scans like the Widow, like you said, had that uh, damage buff or the um, DP, well, the, the damage drop off being mm. in increased so you, you don't lose as much damage as you uh, would do normally. Normally, Soldier is a bit meh. Like, you could fire, but like, eh, it didn't do that much damage. You'd rather pick McCree, and the flashbang utility was quite nice as well. We'll see what Morning Stars want to do, though. I was hoping Dredro would actually stick on um, on that Torb again, but it's not going to be the case. There's going to be Casper on the Soldier this time, using that sprint. Doesn't like Giganti, going for more of a dive orientated 3 3, and Milky Man with the, uh, with the wins. The dive ball will be moving forward, and hopefully, it'll be able to bypass the Shield of Malzan. So we've got to be Ooh. very careful of getting halted off the edge, though. Extra wrath. Got isolated completely there. Couldn't even dip, actually, in the Shield of Malzassa. Very quick kill for Giganti. They're going to just move on to the point. Five seconds before it unlocks. Davin's got to be very cautious here, of course, about the pit. He can be halted into that reasonably easily or booped by Jerydro. And Morningstar's going to be moving back to point. They don't want to contest now. They're just going to be a... Uh, going to be sending love letters, love taps through that window. They're like pen powers, Jaws. Not, and they won't be in, uh, they won't be very friendly for much longer. They're going to change up their comp. Casper is jumping onto that Zaya. Not much charge though. They're only in twenty percent behind. A couple of plasma mortars will do him some good. But Malzasa on the uh, Reinhardt instead of the Winston there. So that's going to be the important factor difference. Milky Man gets booped off the Epiroid. Drudro, thank you very much. Drudro says that's all the old charge for him. 70, 80 percent now on the Lucio already. Davin going extremely low too. Dorito does end up paying for it, but with Mount Zasa finding the kill on facility, does uh, even the fight up just a little bit, but Zap is now losing his mech, and the rally going off the Morning Stars should be able to get a recap on this point. they got way too much health now. They're hoping for a boot, but it just ain't happening. Zap is keeping it contested to force him to kill him, and now in comes the Transcendence to keep Milky Man Whoa. in a good state. Okay, Little Boy finds the boot on Mount Zasa. This fight isn't over just yet. That Transcendence saved him and actually netted them a lot of time. Nice leap straight back onto the point, and Milky Man still has that Primal Rage as well. Davin going down yet again, almost having that oh, transcendence too, but off oh, tree throw midway through oh, the Oh my pass. goodness, little bo, that's what we wanted to see. Oh my god, that's pretty much what team by done. <laughs> what sound barrier? <laughs> but, yeah, Morning Stars looking to uninstall the game right now. <laughs> Giganti secure the point and hold it. 65% on the clock. Ooh. Oh boy, who's the better Dr French Lucio? It's Dredro not Dredro. Has left the lobby. <laughs> Gonna have to earn back towards that sound barrier, Lil Bo outfoxing him this time. But Team Giganti do have two more problems for Morning Stars to deal with. They are named Graviton Surge and Self Destructor, but he's also got the Transcendence ready to go. They're moving down the back again, don't want to get caught out in the middle of their commute, so instead they've got some additional safety. But of course, Milky Man can cleave into these little corridors quite effectively to build up. Look at how quickly he's gaining ult charge. Just want to POV a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Leaf is gonna go down. This is Self Destructor in the corner and a Graviton Surge as well to match. There's a uh, Self Destructor moving into that small corridor, does end up executing Exor Wrath, and that will be another team fight win and the overtime ticking through. Morning Stars can't even get back to the point in time. Casper had that uh, ultimate ready and waiting, but got taken out so, so early. I mean, he couldn't use it whatsoever. Morning Stars end up giving up Sanctum, and that's one 
points now on the board for Gigante. One more, and they win the first series of the season. Ryan, what Ryan? Question is, yours. where are we going for our next point? It is indeed going to be Village, and this is possibly the best map to use the Farah on, should you decide to do so. We know Casper's a pretty mean Farah, so is Leaf, but... Question is, who on Team Gigante will play? I imagine Vizility. He's got a reasonable projectile DPS hero pool. I do prefer his Hanzo and his Genji to his Pharah, but of course it may well be in there. But both of our teams thus far have shown a little bit of a penchant for the tanky compositions. Last time, Team Gigante opted to use for Winston instead of for Reinhardt, but here, where you're going to be on this sort of directly square point for a long time, this way you can get a huge amount of value out of the square shield of Reinhardt, can very much lock down a point of ingress and protect a huge amount of your teammates. Unfortunately, Vizility is still stuck in uh, Brigitte Prison. Can't <laughs> play, so hashtag uh, free Vizility. Damn it. It's uh, starting to move forward. 20% charge. You can see Morningstar took a little bit of a different route. Didn't go to the high ground. It's going to run straight back, to, uh, straight to the point, in fact. Discord Orb on Milky Man is going to get cleansed, but instantly reapplied. They haven't taken a lot of damage. Doesn't want to go down early yet again. Doesn't want to be able to give up this point without at least a fight going on. They're going to have to touch, though. The point does end up unlocking and actually being capped here by Morningstars. Good point for them. And now they can just hold fast. Have to wait for Gigante to push into them. Gigante have to take a fast fight here. They almost have the coalescence ready to go. The extra is getting it just as quickly on the track. Look at how many orbs he's hit. Oh, he's already 91%. There's the, the coalescence, there. though. Zuppe is going to be able to do a lot of damage, a lot of healing as well. But look at that Earth Shadow from Malzasa. Even Exrath unleashing that trance to make sure they all stay alive. Vizility is going to go down first as Dredro nets himself a kill. Grabbed on Surge onto the point, does lock up one, but it's only the Brig. He takes out her, but can't quite actually get to it. So I uh, kind of take that back as the sound barrier does end up saving his life. Zappis and Little Bird going to go for the quick reset. Malzasa swinging away, manages to kill Daphne and net himself extra ult charge. 40% now on board for Morning Stars as their clock does tick over very soon. Exoraf has thrown a couple of educating orbs for way of the X Owl player, Zerpe, who's going to be moving over towards his own Zinyata. And Exoraf's already 50% of the way towards the next transcendence. He's gaining this so quickly. Bilbo's going to be escorting Team Gansi onto a point, but there it is. Beautiful grab from Casper on the other side of the wall. Doesn't get eaten. Bilbo still managed to get a kill somehow. A little pesky frog does manage to get killed in the end. You see, Zuffe changed over to the Zenyatta after the first fight was with a Moira. Your tanks are so much more vulnerable when you're against the Zenyatta. As that Discord Orb allows you to do so much extra damage. When you switch over like that, you do give up a lot of ult charge. And you can see Exorap still on the ult game ahead of Zuffe. 60% versus a complete ult. Morningstar. Well, Vizility has popped the rally. Zuppe and Davin going to be very resilient to small arms fire, but then you really have to worry about the Diva in that regard. Leaf has returned to the fray as well, but it's decided to hold off for now on that rally. Ooh, Milky Man didn't actually let the shadow go. There is the self-destruct, isolating Ooh. people, but a shield slam does manage to get the interrupt on the shatter. Now, Zata lays down his, but doesn't quite find anybody. The rest of the team are going to get kept alive as Exorath unleashes the trance fairly early. He is also very, very chunky himself as that rally was used by Leaf also. So he's building up his ult charge extremely quickly, but another trans of 14 Gigante to actually just build this point up. Overtime's ticking through, and Morningstar's refusing to let go. A Graviton Surge is what they actually need to do, but Milky Man gets caught on one of his own. Dorito lays down the sound barrier, manages to A-Dragon Eddie in the next couple of kills. Morningstar's take the point and take the map. 100 to 0. This has got to be got to be one of the closest Nepal games we've ever seen. One good stomping deserves another Jaws. We're two to two, we're one to one, and it all comes down to this final stage of Nepal. It will be Shrine, the only one left in the pool, and you can play kind of whatever you want on this, but most teams do opt for the 3-3. Three, three. This time I imagine Team Gigante aren't going to be rolling out with a Moira yet again. They're going to see the error of such ways and instead be using that Discord Orb that Zuppe can readily provide, because Moira, she gives you a lot of healing, but not enough healing to deal with 30% extra damage on a tank who can take headshots so easily, you can take body shots so easily, just takes so much damage. Something that we haven't actually seen run, we saw a little bit last season, was this Reaper also. We've seen a lot in Korean contenders, and the way that the Reaper just melts through this frontline tank, especially get headshots on the Diva, it's so easy. And you get ult so fast as well, get bowled by the Zai, you can't get taken down really when you're ulting. But it's going to be Miracops to start off with, yeah, like you said. No, see the area in the ways, and Zuppe is actually going to be on the Zen to start off with. Nice shield bash onto Malzasa, sends him extremely low, and the Fire Strike will actually finish him off. Zap is very incredibly brave, moving in behind the shield of Malzasa to lay down fire after the fire. Looks like this is already over Jaws. Yeah, it's just an old building fight now for Casper, trying to get as much as possible. Was 100% charged, so it did actually net him 60% of his old charge, but it will be Team Gigante taking the point. 
Milky Man doing a lot of damage here. He's already got the uh, Shadow Eyes. You can see he's 70 or about 66% ahead of Malzasa. Caspar's done a lot of damage himself, though. 60% of the way towards that Graviton. But Team Cantel are going to have a significant advantage here as they move forward. And that's all because of that early Earth Shadow. They've got to worry about Vizility with the Bash. Can try and take everyone down, especially if they're put together so tightly. If the history plays itself again, we might just see Team Giganti 100 to 0 in this map as well. But Morningstar is moving on to the point. Almost have a Graviton surge of their own. Davin about 65% of the way to his. Shield stun straight onto Zuffe, but he's a, little bit, uh, he's a little bit more safe than that. That is a Shatter coming through from Team Giganti and a D-Mech onto Dragon Eddie as well. A rally is coming out from the side of Team Giganti and a sound, a sound barrier to actually answer. A Transcendence on top of the point and a Graviton Surge and a bomb might just seal the deal. Now Zaza finds one to facility, but that big board from Zaffis is going to find Casper. A shout out to three people in the back line, but a sound barrier to answer as well. Little Bo was able to dodge out of that one and protect the rest of his team as Morning Stars are laid to rest. Dredra ends up resetting himself and Morning Stars are going to have to go for a complete reset. 55% They've still got another couple of chances, though. Alt after alt. You knew that Team Giganti did not want to give up this defensive position where they are accruing that percentage. Davin, 69% of the way towards that Graviton yet again. And Morning Stars, they used up basically everything they had in that Jaws. They do have a self-destruct, but on its own, what's it going to do? It needs to be combined with something. A shield bash, a charge. Some magic needs to occur for Morning Stars because already it seems so quick. We are in last fight territory if Morning Stars can't succeed here. There's the solo gra uh, the solo uh, self-destruct. Doesn't quite find it anything but Vizility is going to go oh down. Leaf ends up finding the shield bash. That is an extremely <laughs> long charge. Milky Man actually takes Malzasa straight off the map and Dredro is actually going to boot Milky Man away. That'll be two Reinhardt's falling and uh, Davin's going to fall as well so Casper is going to have to be the main tank of his team just running forwards and with extra <laughs> trying to protect Leaf with a healing orb. He was so low pinned up against the wall. We're not going to quite see 100 to 0 just yet. 99% as Morning Stars get the flip. I'm not going to lie Joss. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Milky Man got <laughs> Boot backwards after that self destruct went on a long charge, managed to catch Malzasa and throw him off the edge of Nepal. They just went into the sunset, it was but, a bit hard to see. But basically, Milky Man there was out of the fight as well because of a long charge, so he wasn't available to shield the remainder of his team. But now Davin ready to go with that Graviton Surge. Casper needs to get 4% rather quickly if he wants to answer this. They have both transcendences available. Dredro has the ultimate for Little Bow as well, so double support ultimate for Morning Stars. Little Bow's gonna have to do a little bit of extra damage. Nice Graviton Five Surge. Man. Dragon Edge, you're not able to hit it just yet. Giganti Bomb coming through. Malzasa's gonna go down and a transcend from Zuffe fairly early that's going to run out before the grab runs out. Dragon 80 doesn't have the bomb and only just got it. Couldn't combination, couldn't combine it even with the self destruct but Milky Mound's going to go down as well. Both Reinhardt's dead. They're going to have to walk back to point as Casper's just farming the front line of Team Giganti. A 70% on his ult charge already and Leaf's keeping him in fight with the rally. Malzasa has returned to the fray so the shield is there. If Casper wants to be saved, Giganti are flirting with the idea of trying to disengage with already 50% of his morning stars. 4% for Malzasa to get that Shatter and they have another uh, Transcendence online for them as well. Team Giganti are no way near their Shatter. They're going to need to block it but no you cannot. Not when you have Leaf at your back with the Shield Slam. Uh, Exorath picks up two. Dredro is going to find another. 67% for Morning Stars and they only used one ult in that fight. And what was once such a commanding place for Team Giganti to be sitting is now the territory of the Morning Stars. We're going down to the last fight. Two to two, one to one draws and it all comes down to the next one. Davin has a Graviton Surge, Casper has a Graviton Surge, Transcendence ready to go on both sides. And now we'll have to see what kind of setup will be necessary here for both sides already. Casper has used this. Graviton Surge, Dragon Eddie has no self destruct to deal with it. Leaf's going to activate the uh, rally as well to keep them all healthy. Zuffet doing a lot of damage on the sidelines and he's actually going to be able to find the D mech, in fact, with the help of Zapis' bomb. Davin's going to find Dragon Eddie as well. No hope for the Diva now. Vizilzi falling here could be quite crucial to Giganti's. Uh, win condition and her sound barrier is going to come out from both sides also not quite in time to say Zaffis is mech and Melzase is still alive and swinging 90% on the ultimate he's trying to push everybody oh, away the what? earth shatter is booped away little boy finds yet another crucial boop onto the main tank Casper is back. now onto the doom fist to try and get onto the point he tries to lay down the perfect shatter but milky man with a 1v6 can't make it work morning stars end up taking the win Two to two ends up in three to three. Catch your Morning breath, Stars catch your breath. end up finding the victory in the series. Morning Stars are going to have to do the same and catch their breath 
It was an exhilarating victory for them. They have managed to stake their claim here on Group A of Overwatch contenders in Season 3. Giganti, the old guard, the old kings of Season 1 back in 2017. Stumbling at the first hurdle, but it was not a clean victory by any stretch of the imagination. 2-2, two 1-1, to 99-99. Two, one to one, to it was so close. It was only going to go the distance. Of course it was. Giganti with the new roster. Remember, they departed. They had so many members depart and leave to Owl, but still their roster comes back fighting. But Morning Stars, brand new team, but not brand new players. There's something not to be messed with. We're going to jump over to the desk. They're going to break down those three games you just saw right now.